Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSRSounds.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite features inside of Serum. So before we get into it, let me play this pluck and you can kind of hear what's going on with the sound. Right, so you can see here uh, that it is a two oscillator sound and not a really crazy intricate sound. It is basically a stack of a kind of generic analog uh, sine wave. I say kind of generic because it's not just a one cycle wavetable. It has 256 uh, cycles or frames and that helps for what we're going to be looking at in a second. And then there's oscillator B which is this kind of a more interesting shape. But let me solo oscillator A for you. Right, so it's really clean and glassy, and then oscillator B is a little bit grittier. All right, and those together make up the sound that we heard. Well, one of my favorite features inside of Serum is a warp mode called Remap. Now, I'm not going to cover what a warp mode is because I've already have already done a couple tutorials about the uh, different knobs and settings inside the wavetables. I just want to jump right into this idea. So you have all these different warp modes inside of Serum, which is one of the most powerful aspects of the synth. And if you're a massive user, uh, you'll be familiar with like bend plus or bend minus, right? Where you can do bend plus, move this around, and it will pinch or pull depending on what you have you know, selected. It'll move your uh, wavetable positioning. Well, or it'll move the frame within that position, rather. With the majority of the warp modes in Serum, you have a knob here that will go from 1% to 16%. You have these FM that will go from 0% up to 100. Those all kind of work in similar fashions with the AM, the RM, and the FM from the noise or sub. But you have these special ones called Remap. And you'll see here, right when you load it up, you'll see that a uh, magnifying glass appeared. So let me do that again. Off, right, there it is. And when we do Remap 1, you will see a magnifying glass appear. And when you move this, nothing's really happening, right? The sound is changing if you can see that ever so slightly. It's just making it a little cleaner sounding when I get up to the top or to 100%. So if you click on this um, magnifying glass, what you'll see here is you will see a, you'll basically be looking at a customizable waveform LFO type envelope editor. And it'll look very familiar to your envelopes or LFOs down below. And it, what it's going to do is you can create shapes by uh, double clicking. You can, you can make your own you know, curves, you can move things around, right? And to get it to affect the sound, you just turn up the remap, the, the actual warp knob itself. So right now, you can see here, I created this shape. It's happening kind of right here inside the wavetable. And if you move your position, it'll move around a little bit. So let's listen to this. There it is, off and on. So you can see this drastically changes the sound with just minimal fuss. I mean, it's not hard to create these different shapes here. Um, let me pull this down. Let me pull that up. And it's one of the, it's one of my favorite things to mess around with because uh, you have these different modes, and basically Remap 1 is the most simple mode, the simplest mode. Remap 2 will introduce a lot more uh, change into your sound. So it's great if you're using like, you want to try and go for like an organ or maybe a deep house type pluck. And it also works really well on basses and just really digital and gritty sounds because like I said, you can just go here and draw, double click, draw as many, uh, many shapes as you want. And it's just yet yeah, another way that Serum allows you to edit a wavetable without actually having to go to the wavetable editor. And editing wavetables has typically been a fairly difficult thing. It involved math and it involved some nerdy things that not all musical people may may think about. And I say nerdy in like the nicest of ways. It's things that are beyond me. And so I really appreciate having tools that are more musical. We all know what an LFO and can under, or should be able to understand an LFO and an envelope. And now we have a way to really, really affect the sound with that basic tool. <laughs> 
and modulating with this is always awesome. To get like really subtle changes in your sound to really get that cool analog feel. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't checked out ADSRsounds.com, go over there. I know I say that at the end of every video, but we just launched a brand new site, tons of cool new features from things like being able to create your own account, wish list, tons of stuff. Seriously, check it out. It's, it's a lot of cool things. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.